Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Allah Rectorer Mem Tira Mariana M. Hum and our beloved friends First, I want to thank to Allah to give us the opportunity and uh, the healthy to discuss about the material So, before we go to the material let me introduce our group um, we are from group 3 and our mastery is genre in literature for children and I'm Iqbal Tanjiana as a first speaker Mufakira as second speaker Liana as third speaker and last speaker or fourth speaker is Rika Fadila Nasutir so Let's we start the mystery is definition of biography. A biography is a story or information about someone's from someone's life from birth to death if it's death. Biography is a story that contains information about life someone. True notification non fiction true non fiction stories a child can know information about characters that can inspire them. Aminu then suggested that biography not just a famous character, but can be like her parents, grandmother, teacher, or aunt. Next is biography, almost similar to historical story, that in a biography thought it passed even mainly tells the situation or someone's life journey. In children's literature, biographies are in between historical fiction and informational books. A love story can made into a fiction or it can be made non-fiction. Book biographies provide clarity about various things related to figure, figure who is biographed throughout his life or until the time the book was written. Besides, besides, it can be used to describe attitudes and views of opposing characters, clarify people's face which have been considered wrong, or face versa to tell something that over is not yet known. Many to the rewritten biographies of famous figures who deliberately intended as reading children's literature. For example, start, starting and life of the wolf or wali sanga or wali songo in Java, up to figures and scientists famous such as Napoleon Bonaparte, Mahatma Gandhi, Siddhartha Gautama, Newton, Einstein, and others. Next is when view from how another processes facts and the data and data life becomes a biography. There are two forms of biography, namely biography authentic and fixed bio fixed biographies. Authentic biography are related to biography for biographies for out for adults. Book this type of documentaries is really good, which is, is which is the result carefully study of a person life. And fixed fixed biography biographies that are fixed are written based on a in depth research. But let the other dramatic certain event and personalize the subject, not just direct reporting like authentic, not just direct reporting like authentic biography. Thank you. And the next speaker is Mufakira. Kind of biography. Uh, one academic. Big biography, academic biography really mostly upon the, the uh, documented and not just uh, accomplishments of a person life. 
uh, for example uh, the life of a visual art artists uh, could be told ac according to their per capit uh, import import on the specifics for for of art like uh, as sculpture for title uh, or landscape of uh, painting to fictionalized academic biography the fictionalized academic biography there to combine uh, the best elements of the fictional fictional biography entertain with a strong them and storyline and the uh, academic biography the fact factual uh, 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 for example uh, for example of Fictionalized academic bibliography in books includes uh, as to the dawn the life of Amelia or her by Susan but Butler three prophetic biography and uh, a prophetic biography differs from fictional entertainment a biography because it seeks to inspire uh, an idealistic change in the reader rather rather than just just uh, providing best uh, best entertainment uh, for example a uh, prophetic biography in book include uh, the story of my experiments uh, with the autobiography by Mohandas Nes Mahatma Gandhi The reader obligation The text of a reader is basically to write a book completion uh, he must arrange the word into a narrative or explanation uh, that can be accepted by many readers. In his book, he must present his ideas written from uh, in accordance with grammatical rules. Then his soul also pre also must master a reading technique so that the book the produce uh, are not a dove in terms of quality. We will discuss uh, obligation. There are la less fi five points uh, are that a reader can understand. Understand something that must be done according uh, for the obligation of our author include first take full responsibility uh, for the substance of the manuscript. Is the author who shall be responsible for the entire content of the book uh, manuscript? Since he is a person who reads his own book from start to finish, he is also the one who must be responsible for all of his, con his content. Uh, second, quarantine the authenticity of work. Authors are obligated to quarantine the authenticity of their work. This can be as accomplished, uh, accomplished uh, by convincing the book publisher and reader that that he is reading a book that no one else has written. Third, doesn't doesn't offer the same manuscript to more than one publisher. If an author has submitted a work of to a publisher, uh, he is not allowed to submit the same work to another publisher. Indeed, sometimes we reader assume that their work is not necessarily accepted in a publisher. However, this doesn't mean that uh, the author submit the same work on another publishers with the uh, with with the half with the half with the hope that one of the publishers uh, his cause will accept the war in the future that this method will 
will actually make it difficult for reader or guarantee that the contents of the manuscript do not, don't conflict with prevailing morals and ethics. It is fitting for a reader to follow it without violating moral or ethics. They are not allowed things that are not a crowd dance uh, with accepting moral or ethic and, and are not allowed things that are not in a crowd dance with accepting moral and ethic and, and are up by society in general. And last, checking manuscript before submitting them the book publisher. It is also obligatory for the author uh, to check the manuscript before submitting in to the book publisher. Author must look carefully and ensure that the manuscript is afforded to submit that to the publisher and must check for errors, uh, typological error, and other elements that elements that will report such error. Before submitting a manuscript to a book publisher, a reader must take the time to re to re-edit his writing. Characteristic of biography. We can recognize a biographical writing by paying attention to its characteristic. The biographical features are as follows. First, biography has a standard structure in its manufacture including orientation, reorientation, and events. Second, the contents of the biography are made based on fact or factual according to life story of the characters told. Third, describe the person environment, where, when, and how they lived. Fourth, there are interesting and inspiring stories in the life of biographers so that they can influence the reader. Fifth, Biography also contains things that can motivate someone to imitate the life of the character in the biography. Six, a story about a real person. And the last, shows the author knows a lot about the person. And for the example, you can see in our PowerPoint. The term folklore encompasses the traditional beliefs, stories, custom, and legend transmitted orally from generation to generation. I will introduce you to the most common folklore genres, fairy tales, legend, myths, folk tales, and fables. First, fable. Fables, these are short and unrealistic stories. However, fables contain moral lessons that teach appropriate ways of living. Some fables give direct lessons, but others indirectly provide thought in the comparative model. As such, fables are sometimes called the object lesson or the parable. Characters running the story may be human, animals, or angels. The stories are assumed to be happened in the past, such as the Nukat Lake, or a mouse bite steel, the Aesop's tale, and the tales from Panjatantra. Next, legend. What are legend? A legend is usually based on a true event in the past. However, the story may have changed over time, time to take on special mythical features. Legends usually have a real hero at the center of the story and they are often set in a fantastic places. The story will have been passed on from person to person, sometimes over a very long period of time. The fact that so many people have taken the trouble to keep the story alive usually tells you that it has some very important meaning for the culture or re region in which the story was first told. Next, characteristic of folk, folk tales. Kular Malikamas has summarized main characteristic of folk tales as follows. First, Folk tales is told with ordinary word. It is a prose, not a verse. Second, folk tales have been orally passed on for generation with developed writing. Folk tales may be written down based on the stories previously told by mouth. Third, there is not indication of the original storyteller. It is usually referred that the story has been told from their president, who were important person in the past. This differs from contemporary 
literature which clearly indicate the authors the author's name even the folk tales with names of the authors such as Grimm's fairy tales still refer that the stories are based on the original tales not newly composed next fairy fairy tales fairy tales prominent characteristic of fairy tales include length of the story in which there are several conflicting situation or subsection main content of the story usually involves supernatural power or miracle which are uncommon to human way of life normally it doesn't clearly indicate the location in the story beside the main character possesses extraordinary attributes such as charisma or magic that would finally overcome the co the obstacle and conquer all of the enemies with happy ending the last myth myths myths are narrative of a sacred nature often connected with some ritual myths are often foundational or key narrative associated with religions these are narrative are believed to be true from within the associated faith system or though sometimes the truth is understood to be metaphorical rather than literal within any given culture there are maybe sacred and secular myth coexisting that's all from our group assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh